Hey everybody, uh, I need to get this out to all of you, brothers and sisters in, in the Lord, around the world, wherever you're at. Um, just got a, a contact from one of our missionaries uh, that is deep in the Middle East and uh, just pleading for prayer, pleading for help. And um, the situation is the fact that um, What's happened in Afghanistan this last couple of weeks, last week, week and a half, has stranded a lot of Americans, uh, civilian workers, contractors, um, technology individuals, farmers that have been there helping. And from what I was just told, um, as I am at, at this moment in contact with that individual and uh, several individuals, um, in DC right now and one at the UN just moments ago. Uh, it's a complete meltdown in Afghanistan. You're probably not hearing about it on US news because it makes Biden look bad. It's all on his decision. I want you to know from eyewitness accounts that I know personally uh, at this hour, it's 10 after, it's five after eight Pacific time Sunday night uh, there's a bloodbath of Taliban warriors wholesale killing Muslims and anyone else they can find. It is an absolute rampage. And this was created by this current administration, but that's not the issue tonight. The issue tonight is I've been asked to put out a global plea for prayer and protection and for evacuation of Christian missionaries in Afghanistan, U.S. citizens in Afghanistan, and also military personnel that frankly is not enough at this hour, overwhelmed. And if I get any more information, I will keep you posted, but will you please just stop whatever you're doing, wherever you're at in the world, and pray for the people of, of Afghanistan, that Jesus Christ would reveal himself in the atmosphere to the Muslim world for salvation. But the Taliban is filling the void that has been created by what's happened by our government lately. And so please pray, let's pray together. Would you agree with me in, in this prayer? Father God, we pray right now as, Lord, we feel so helpless in the flesh right now, 8,000 miles away, nothing we can do in the natural world. We can make phone calls and we can connect and we can network, but it doesn't matter how much authority a person has or where they sit within the military structure the bottom line the fact is you're god this is a horrific situation and lord we pray that you would intervene father that you bring safety and comfort and deliverance you know exactly who they are you know exactly where they are and i do pray lord that these islamic jihadists would actually see visions of you right now, Jesus, in the sky, in their dreams, in the atmosphere, as some have reported. Some have heard you speak in the Muslim world. Lord, we pray that you would do that today in Afghanistan. And God, that you would just cause this retreat and evacuation of our brothers and our sisters in Afghanistan to be successful. And Lord, those who are Americans trying to get home, and we do pray, of course, for those uh, Germans and the English that are working there and Koreans. And you know exactly, exactly every person. But Father God, we commit this into your hands and we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you guys. And um, 
as I hear things during the night, if, uh, if it's necessary, I'll just get back on and we'll pray some more together, okay? All right, God bless you guys. Thank you.